This is part of the casting that I did last week off of that plastic sheeting. So the pieces I've cut apart and I'm going to get ready to apply one. And I wanted to show you the process for applying this. Um, I will spend a little bit of time trying to figure out where I want it arranged on the page. And then I also use a slurry of uh, soft um, gel medium and liquid medium to put this down with and it's really a simple process it really doesn't take a whole lot to do this but it's uh, just something I think you need to know I'll take a little bit of this this mixture and put it out on my surface make sure that my brush is wet and just spread it out and then taking the piece that I want to put in place I'm going to arrange it and just make sure that I have all the edges tied down and make sure that I have everything well attached. Now the medium I'm using is going to be clear and I can actually come through here and just add a little bit more and I want to be very careful in this area where I've got a little bit of dimensionality going on. Um, make sure I get those edges well attached and that's pretty much it. I'm going to let this dry and I'll show you what the results are when I get done. I've been working with this just a little bit more. I added this yellow down here and, and hit it with a little bit of alcohol. And then I took and put a little piece of gold leaf in here. And this is 24 karat gold. That's dried. You can see where this has settled in nicely. It's nicely uh, attached right into the canvas at the moment. Now I'm going to do something involving this piece of um, acrylic medium, uh, acrylic sheeting that I did the other day. I cut a little square out of it. You can see where I took it right out of here. And now I want to attach it onto the canvas. So again, I'm going to take my um, slush or slurry of, of acrylic and notice that I'm not using a real huge amount of it. I'm just using a small amount of it. And I'm going to go right over top of that square that I have in gold and then I'm going to take my square that I cut out here and lay that right on top now I can move this a little bit as as you can see and there it is it's attached into place and that's nothing more than gel medium and I think it gives it a nice little detail um, from there I want to put a little bit of, of um, black mica and black mica is, it looks something like that. I'm going to add a little bit of that slurry to it again, thin it down a little bit and it'll, it'll help it not look quite so solid. So there's a nice little dollop of medium. Get that well mixed in and I'm going to just start adding it here. You're right over top of this, this piece that I just put in, and I like it particularly around this raised grid area. And I'm just going to maybe stop right about there. There you go. That's it for this at the moment. I'm going to let that dry, see what it looks like, and see what I have to do after that.